Hello. Well, as you can see, uh, I just saw El Camino, my Breaking Bad stuff. You know, El Camino, Breaking Bad movie, and I'll just say, it's great. This film should be best viewed as an epilogue on the off chance you haven't seen it, because this will be a week right after the film came out in select theaters and uh, Netflix. I was able to see it on the big screen, and it was completely worth it, though I will definitely watch it on Netflix later on. Now, I don't know, I, I, I don't think I should ever really say much about this if you haven't seen it, because not only would it give spoilers to Breaking Bad, because, you know, I'm assuming there might be some people out there who have never seen Breaking Bad, um, maybe they've had an interest but just never got around to it. Which I'm sure for some, that's completely hard to believe, but, you know, that does happen. Some people just have, aren't able to say, or be able to watch something like that, like a show. Uh, it's a, quite a commitment if you didn't, I was somebody who watched Breaking Bad when it was on TV, on AMC, every, like, like you know, like Sunday, Monday, I don't even remember where it was, wasn't it Monday. I think it went to. Oh, I think it did go to Sunday. Um, I don't know. I can't remember now. It's been over ten years since that show premiered. But I just remember watching every single episode because it sounded and looked interesting, and I'm so glad I did. But and I've watched it various times ever since. I've been watching Better Call Saul. I love both shows. And I love El Camino. It's a great conclusion to Jesse's story. Um, Robert Forrester is in this film. He's reprising the role from, uh, you know, uh, Breaking Bad. I don't know why I had a brain fart there. But, you know, it, and he did die. He did pass away on the very day of this film came out for streaming and theatrically. So, you know, rest in peace to uh, Robert Forster. Um, but he, but, but this film was in, just incredible. There are various cameos uh, and other characters from Breaking Bad. And there's one from Better Call Saul, but you don't need to see that show to really understand this film. If you haven't seen it yet, um, but this is a very good film and a good addition to the Breaking Bad franchise. Um, I just now I'm curious how well Better Call Saul end, aside from the obvious, just like how will it end? Um, just like I was wondering about this, how will this be the end of Breaking Bad? Because the series finale was incredible. It's like how could you top this? Um, and I don't want to say this film tops the series finale, but I think it's a very good addition to it. Sort of, again, it's an epilogue. It's best to view it as an epilogue if you haven't seen it. Um, uh, you know, uh, Vince Gilligan, the writer, director, producer of this film, and the creator of Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, he said he only wanted to do this film because he had an idea for a while, and only do it if it was right. Everything was just right. Um, if it wasn't, he was not going to do it. Um, but he had an idea. He sent it to Aaron Paul and other cast members who he wanted, and yeah, the, I think they did a great job. I think they succeeded in what they wanted to do. And, you know, just fantastic um, it's just incredible I think um, if you haven't seen Breaking Bad again uh, watch it if you're able to uh, whatever spare time you have um, you know you don't, you don't have to binge it all right away um, and I watched the show when it was on AMC from 2008 to 2013 and it was an incredible experience where now with Netflix you can catch up with every episode um 
and then watch the film, watch the movie. Soon, Better Call Saul season four will be on Netflix. Um, but yeah, um, again, you don't need to watch that show to understand this. But there is one character from Better Call Saul that is in this film um, in a moment, and it's just it's just kind of funny. And I was watching it like the dude looks familiar, and then as I was thinking and then couldn't well, I realized who that was. Yeah from Better Call Saul. But that aside, you know, there's just, it, there is just, it's just incredible. Aaron Paul is incredible. He's fantastic. Um, you know, it's, it, he, I think he's a, a very good actor, a great actor even. And it's nice to see him in the lead of something. You know, after Breaking Bad, uh, he just sort of he just fell off. He's just Jesse Pinkman in real life. That's what I've seen with a lot of people. Like that's just like his personality, at least. Um, but I don't know. I I think he, he I've seen some other films. He was in Last House on the Left, which was a fine. It was an all right movie, you know, in terms of like remakes. Um, but he he was good in that part. Um, but I don't know uh, any other. Film roles, yeah, I don't know. He's just not able to, I guess, get his foot in movies like he might wanted to. Like after Breaking Bad, where I did TV, I want to do some, you know, movies or more movies as a more prominent role. Is I think he was in some films before, um, before uh, Breaking Bad, but they weren't like leading roles or strong supporting roles. Um, but I would like to see him in more films. Uh, he has great success for television, you know, Breaking Bad, um, The Path, and um, BoJack Horseman, where he, he's a he voices a character, um, as well as uh, play, as well as produces the show. Um, but yeah, he he is great in this film, he, just as he was in the. Uh, show uh, I don't know it's just it's just a f fantastic film watch it if you haven't um, I recommend it but I don't know maybe that doesn't mean much to many people uh, but I just love the show Breaking Bad love its spinoff Better Call Saul and I love this it's a good addition to the this series that I love and so many others love. I hope you, if you've seen it, uh, I hope you enjoyed it, you know, because it's two hours. Um, but if you didn't, you know, that's all right, too. Um, but, you know, what do you think of it, if you've seen it? What do you think of Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul also? What do you think of this franchise? Um, do you love it? Do you enjoy it? Do you think it's all right? It's okay? It's meh? Where are you on all this? Um, I'd be curious to find out if you wanted to leave a comment. You can, but again, you don't have to. It's your life. Uh, all that said, um, and again, rest in peace, uh, Robert Forster. Uh, he was great in this role. As was everybody. Everybody was incredible. Um, and the cameos, from those from Breaking Bad, you know, they weren't just there for the sake of, hey, it's that character. They actually sort of like had a purpose or they uh, were to serve something when Jesse Pinkman is remembering stuff because there are flashbacks throughout the film. Uh, and it, it, it's, it's just, you know, it just, it's just, it's, it's just very good. At the very least, I'll say that. I actually do think it's great. It's incredible. But I also don't want to overhype it for those who haven't seen it yet. It's good. I believe it is good. If you enjoy this sh the show, I think you will appreciate this as an epilogue to it. With that, I will just say so long. 
know. Hope you all have a great day, a great weekend, and a great week. And I'll see you all next time.